Welcome to a ViewSonic unboxing. My name is Ray and today I have for you a VP2786 4K. This is our highest end sort of creator photo monitor and it actually comes in an amazing new design and it comes even with a little calibrator and software controller that I think you're going to find is really, really cool. We call it the wheel. So let's get this monitor open and show you what you get inside the box. So like many of our other VP series products, we do make the unboxing as easy as possible so that you can get set up real, real fast. And I'll show you that. Um, as soon as you open it up, we're quite proud of the, the packaging and the way that it all comes together. We give you instructions on exactly uh, how you're going to open this up and assemble it. And we also give you this little pamphlet, which has within it all the documentation about uh, why we are building these for creators, as well as information on how well this monitor did in its own testing and provide you with some of the um, quick start and assembly information that you'll need for the monitor in just a nice little package. Getting inside the monitor packaging, you may notice it's a little bit different than some of our other monitors. The whole point of this is to be recyclable and to be recycled. Uh, we want this to be as renewable as possible, so no styrofoam pack is used in this product. Um, as I mentioned before, we'll actually start out with this little wheel device here, and I can show you guys what that is. So this right here is the ViewSonic wheel. This is on top a controller wheel with a selector button so that you can use the dial in different software. Also controls the on-screen display for the monitor. So if you want to change any settings on the fly, change between color profiles, color modes, you can do it extremely easily with this puck. Um, because this is a professional calibrated display, it's very important that your screens stay in perfect calibration. That's why we built a calibration puck on the bottom of this wheel so that you can always keep this monitor in perfect calibration for the entire life of the product and have a cool way of controlling the product. Next up, we're gonna start getting some of the monitor parts itself, and we're gonna to start to assemble the monitor, and you're gonna to start to get a sense of the look and feel for this thing. On the base here, very thick, strong aluminum base. There's also a little spot here that is meant to act as the spot for your puck to sit when you're not using it. So when you don't need your controller puck or you're not using the calibrator, you can just set it off to the side here in the stand of the monitor. Next up, we've got some cables. We've got HDMI, we've got a USB-C. USB-C is actually really important to this monitor because it is a USB-C monitor with power delivery. That means that 90 watts of charging power can surge through this monitor and right into whatever laptop or desktop or tablet that you have connected via USB-C and provide that 90 watts of power as needed. USB cable, because we do build in USB ports on our monitor, so we want you to be able to connect with them. Uh, don't need the upstream cable if you're already using Type-C. And lastly, just a power cable. So next up coming out of the box is the upright for the stand. And it's very simple, like all of our monitors, it assembles with no tools. So we're just going to take our monitor stand here put our base on it, it self lines up, and then you can just tighten the little thumb screw on the bottom. Finger tight is perfectly fine. Okay, and here's our fully assembled stand. This is a full ergonomic monitor. That means that it has full height adjustment as well as swivel and pivot adjustment. So if you need to do say portrait uh, or portraiture um, editing, you can do that very easily on this monitor because of this complicated stand.
One of the more interesting things to come out of the box is actually this. What this is, is actually a, it goes this way. What this is, is a monitor hood. So if you wanna control the lighting around your monitor, maybe you're in a bright environment, but you still need to do photo editing, this can give you sort of a, a mini darkroom effect. Make sure that there's no direct light hitting that panel and give you that nice visored look on the monitor. And we'll mount that once we have the fully uh, assembled monitor out. As with many of our monitors, the assembly process is very, very simple. Again, it doesn't require tools and it only takes about a minute. You pull open the packaging on the back of the monitor. This will expose um, not only where this monitor mounts, but also where a VESA mount is if you wanna connect it to a monitor arm as an example, and maybe do a dual monitor setup on your desk with minimal cables and no stands. All right. Clicking into place, the whole monitor comes out in one piece. Now that we have the monitor fully assembled, let's talk a little bit about the monitor itself. And actually, I'm going to also put on that hood, as I told you. Um, so the monitor itself is an IPS monitor. Uh, it is also a full 4K panel. So if you really want that deep, rich 30-bit color, this is capable of doing that and displaying the full 1 billion and 700,000 colors that are part of that larger color space. Uh, additionally, this monitor, as I said before, does have USB-C with power delivery. In addition to that, also has DisplayPort and HDMI, so no issues with connectivity on whatever devices you want to connect it to, and a couple of USBs as well to give you that expansion if you want to connect to, say, your keyboard and your mouse, and very useful if you want to use the built-in KVM function. Maybe you do some of your work on a Mac during part of the day, maybe you work on a PC at a different part of the day. You can have both of those connected to this one monitor and use that keyboard uh, and mouse and this monitor as a single sort of viewport into both systems. So you switch back and forth, don't need two keyboards, don't need two mice because it can all be managed by the monitor. In terms of color, this is a really, really wide color monitor for us. It does 98% of the DCI P3 color space as well as 100% of the Adobe RGB color space. And it is calibrated to both of those color spaces, but also calibrated to Rec 709, Rec 2020, whatever you may be using, this monitor should have a color mode for you. And again, if there's ever any issues with the calibration, we tell you exactly what that calibration is from the factory and we provide you with a calibrator in the box so you can always calibrate it to the perfect amount for your work. So this has just been a fun unboxing and overview of the VP2786 4K. Please continue watching this channel for more exciting videos from USonic.